Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh My name is Zati Azrin Ahmad And the title of my presentation today is Virtual Internship During MCO The Challenges Ahead I will start my presentation by giving you some background of the study And what this study is all about Next, I will provide reason why this study was initiated Followed by research questions and research objectives I will continue with methodology adopted for the research, followed by findings and suggestions. The implementation of MCO has a profound effect on almost all sectors, including education. In IIUM, all regular teaching and learning activities, or RPTL, was replaced with Emergency Remote Teaching and Learning, or ERTL. Similarly, all on-site internship program was put on hold until 1st of July. Only remote or virtual internship was allowed to resume. In general, the MCO has multiple implications to interns. Some receive cancellation of internship placement. Some were asked to postpone or to take leave until MCO lifted, while the unlucky ones were asked to exit. However, in many cases, interns were offered to continue internship online. So what is virtual internship? According to Wisconsin Center for Education Research, virtual internships are done mainly online. This allows interns to work on global scale but still local. Interns are placed with a company and report to a supervisor. Interns are in regular contact with the supervisor or their team via virtual methods. It all started when a group of communication students started their internship last February. It was a normal, on-site internship except they have to put on the three-ply mask on their face. However, after the MCO was announced, one intern was asked to exit while another three were requested to postpone. Fortunately, 22 interns were offered to continue their internship online. This study argues that virtual internship is a safe and innovative way for students to gain work-based experience during a pandemic. However, students may deprive from getting sufficient exposure on actual work culture, norms, direct engagement with supervisor and colleague, which are important for their future career development. This study was initiated to understand how communication students feel about virtual internship, major challenges that they have encountered, and how these have affected their performance as intern. Why this research was initiated? It is important to highlight that internship is a compulsory course for all communication students regardless of their area of specialization. On top of that, literature on internship during pandemic was mainly revolved around student mental health issues. At the same time, many research have been conducted towards medical students' issues during pandemic. However, internship among communication and media students during pandemic was hardly found. There are three research objectives that this study aimed to fulfill. The first one is to understand how interns feel about virtual internship. Secondly, to identify major challenges interns encountered during virtual internship. And finally, to understand to what extent virtual internship affects interns' performance. This study has adopted a qualitative research as a methodology. A semi-structured interview was used as a method to collect data. Ten communication students who did internship during MCO has agreed to be interviewed online. The interview took place via Google Meet for approximately one hour to one hour and a half. All interviews were later transcribed verbatim. Thematic analysis was used to analyze data. This study has addressed all the three research questions. In reference to research question number one, how do interns feel about virtual internship during MCO? Two dominant themes emerge that indicates interns are mostly happy and worried. The finding reveal the interns were relatively happy, mainly due to convenience and safety reason. I have included three examples on the slide. The first example mentioned about convenience. I'm happy I don't have to dress up early morning. My office is far from home. I normally drive and park at LRT station. 
The other two examples showed that the interns were happy because they can protect themselves from being exposed to the pandemic. Respondent HSK mentioned that, I'm happy because I feel COVID is very serious and may affect me thus I prefer to work from home. In my country, the lockdown was much earlier. Respondent SY mentioned, I'm happy because my office is located at the tourist attraction spot. There were already cases. On the other hand, interns were also worried about virtual internship as they have no experience working from home. Another reason was due to the nature of, of their job that required them to be at the field. Interestingly, those who mentioned that they are happy to do virtual internship continued to express a different feeling. For example, Respondent HSK mentioned that after one week, I feel uncomfortable. I can't get any experience from the internship program. What I should do now? I cannot learn much from my supervisor. Respondent SY mentioned that there are days when I feel lost or demotivated, especially when the tasks given are not clear. Respondent SH mentioned, I lost my momentum to work every day. It's very boring. This study also addressed research question number two. What are among major challenges of virtual internship? Among major challenges that dominantly found was having to work long hours. Since interns were working from home, there was no commuting time involved. Thus, most of them would start early and try their level best to complete all assigned tasks. They even work during lunchtime and late evening. The other dominant challenge emerged was communication issues. This ranged from unstable internet connection, delayed feedback from supervisor, and miscommunication with regards to the assignments. Inconvenience was often raised as another challenge of virtual internship. Interns experience a lot of distraction working from home and not having a proper workstation. Finally, research question number three, to what extent virtual internship affects interns' performance? It seems that majority of the interns perceive virtual internship make them less productive, hindered their ability to do or gain more, and subsequently impacted their performance. I have included several examples to describe this. For example, respondent NG mentioned that virtual internship has affected my performance. I believe I could do better if I'm attached at the office. I will be able to explore new things at the newsroom, studio, recording equipment. Respondent HSK stated that it affected my internship performance since I couldn't learn and get direct experience from site supervisor and exposure from other departments. Respondent SH mentioned that, yes, I think I cannot deliver my best because my motivation is very low because I love to work in the office, meeting people. And finally, respondent YT stated that I couldn't perform well. Before MCO, I gained new experience almost every day. But during virtual internship, most of the time, I've, I just wait for a new task and it was not convenient for me. This study has derived into three major conclusions. The first one is interns are having mixed feelings about virtual internship. They don't find virtual internship as entirely convenient as there are many factors that make it less practical, especially in the absence of a smooth flow of communication and not having to be in the actual working place. Secondly, virtual internship, if not properly structured, will most likely contribute to a meaningless internship program that will put the intern, the university and the host company at the losing end. Finally, communication is a very important aspect that will determine the success of a virtual internship program. This range from having a stable internet connection and also any other mediated communication issues. At the end, this study would like to suggest the following. The first one is the need for virtual internship manual that provide guidelines for university, intern and the host company on the role, responsibility, expectation, and basic resources required for an effective internship program. 
Secondly, a virtual internship induction by the host company that will be useful to help intern to familiarize with the division or workplace setup and his or her colleagues. And finally, the possibility for a rotational based virtual internship that will expose the intern to various other departments that are related to their nature of work. That will be the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for listening. Assalamualaikum and have a good evening.